So today we're gonna be once again skating the two by four quarter pipe at the uh, private Haley Isaac compound. Um, and we're gonna be showing you blunt rock fakies. Blunt rock fakies is one of those, uh, I would say that it's almost like a um, stepping stone trick to lead to more tricks. Blunt rock fakie is the easiest blunt variation in my opinion. And uh, if you can rock the fakie, you can blunt rock fakie. I think when people see blunt stalls, uh, it looks very difficult and advanced. It looks like there's like a lot of uh, slip out factor, but in reality, it's a pretty relatively safe trick, especially when you're not trying to pop all the way back into fakie. Because to get the rock, you don't even really need to ollie as much as you just give it like a little, a little nudge to get into the rock to fakie. So we're going to show you a couple of tricks, a couple of hacks to learning that trick. And uh, hopefully get you to the right mindset to realize, hey, you can definitely do this trick. It's a pretty safe trick and uh, a great stepping stone to more difficult tricks. Once again, my ankle is, uh, well, it's it's just not great. It's I have a sprained ankle, so I will have Haley be my body today and she will be uh, demonstrating all the tricks. Even when I'm not hurt though, I'm probably still gonna have her do a lot of tricks. Um, don't give me a dirty look. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so first I'm going to have her just do a blunt rock fakie so you can see what we're talking about. So the main issue that people are going to have with learning this trick is where their body weight is. I recommend the first couple times that you get into this blunt stall, um, you don't have your body weight necessarily in the ramp right away, but that's where eventually you want your body weight to be. So when you're getting into the blunt, I recommend doing it like this. Just sort of get into the blunt and then step off. You can have your body weight more on the deck where it feels safer. Just kind of like getting into the blunt, putting your foot down, keeping your body weight just kind of on the deck, getting used to it. And then when you get a little bit more comfortable, try to get into the blunt and try to hold the blunt for a second and then step off. And then finally, ultimately, you want to be able to get into the blunt, keeping your body weight not necessarily just over the coping, but actually over the ramp. So your, your feet will be here, but you want your upper body to be kind of back here, like a little bit, you know, on this side of the coping. That way, when you go and push down on the tail a little bit, you can see, I can show you with one hand, if I push down on the tail, it brings the board that way. It already wants to pop over the coping. If I push a little harder, it will actually start to clear the coping and then just fall into rock. So that's essentially what it is. You get into the blunt, you keep your body weight back here and you press down on this little this little pivot spot on your tail and that'll just throw you into the rock. Now, when you do that, you can be in the back seat and then adjust to the front seat so we can get into the rock. You can kind of stall longer and figure out like when you exactly want to come in. Because of course, the first couple times you're doing this trick, you're not gonna be doing like Haley where it's all fast and quick. You're probably gonna be more like in, one, slowly lift up and that's fine that's a great way to learn the trick uh and then as time goes on you'll get faster and faster tricks that you're going to want to be able to do for this basic control of uh you know your skateboard for sure you definitely want to be able to drop in you want to be able to do rock to fakies all the way decked out so in other words you want to be able to come up on the deck put it all the way up here and then come back into fakie because you're not going to be doing if you're if your rock to fakies are like this if you're just doing these that's you're not going to go blunt and then land in that you're gonna go blunt and land more decked out. So definitely practice going all the way up on the deck, coming all the way back in, or go all the way up on the deck and slowly scooting back to here if that's more comfortable for you, and then lifting up. But ultimately, you definitely wanna be able to come in from a fully decked out rock to fakie. I start leaning back and kind of dragging my tail up the ramp right as my front wheels clear the coping. So it's sort of like this, like I'll go like that. And then around right here, I'll get into the blunt. Um, lifting your front foot up, letting your tail kind of lock in. The first couple times that you feel yourself get into the blunt, it might not feel too stable, but it's actually like a pretty secure trick to stand on. It's not a lot of balancing. You're really, if you can stand like this on flat ground, it's quite similar to that, except for with this tail being overhanging the edge, it does make it so you could uh, give it that little scoop and pop out. So a quick uh, recap, get into the blunt, step off. Get into the blunt, stall it for a second, step off. Get into the blunt and have your body weight over the ramp and then just give it a little nudge, get into the rock and then pull it to Faggy. I'll have Haley do a couple more and uh, she'll show you a couple more angles so you can see how her body's doing the trick.
so those are all the fundamental key components to this trick and a good way to go about learning it um obviously we sell these exact quarter pipes uh on our website uh, i have a link down in the description to actually purchase this quarter pipe and other obstacles that we sell we also sell kickers flat bars slappy ledges curb obstacles uh unique stuff like a bank to bar which is a flat bar that has transition on the side um the tranny ledge we have tons and tons of different ramps that we offer all at uh affordable prices we also sell mini ramps um from all different shapes and sizes you know everything from a two by eight to uh you know 20 foot wide with extensions you know we we have a little bit of everything so you can go on our website and customize uh the size and shape of the mini ramps as well, if that's something that you're looking for. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, until next time.